Alright, what is going on guys? It's SSN Santa here, coming at you with a brand new video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the best class setup for the M4A1 in Bullet Force, guys. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, but let's get right into it, guys. So basically, guys, the M4A1, as you know, is the first gun you start out with when you make your new Bullet Force account. Um, I remember, actually, when Bullet Force came out, I basically just used this gun for the longest time. Because, as you guys knew, I just wanted to snipe, and so the only way I could think of doing this was using the one gun that you didn't have to spend any of your credits on, and just using that until I had enough credits to get either the M40A5 or the um, M200. So I ended up using this for a very long time and I really like this gun. I, I definitely think it's one of the better guns in the game, honestly, even though it's the gun you start out with. Well, let's, I'm just going to be sharing with you guys one of my favorite class setups. So basically for this site today, guys, I'm going to be using the Cobra site because I just really like the way that looks with this kind of a gun, especially like on an assault rifle like the M4A1. It, it works out really well um, with the recoil and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I'm also going to be using the suppressor today, guys, because I just, oh, I always like the way that it sounded on this gun, for one, and then for two guys, it just helps you stay off the radar, which I really like, um, usually I'll play really aggressively, but with the M4A1, it's, it's definitely one of those guns that is still very good when you put a suppressor on it, plus the upside is that you're off the radar, people can't see you, and it's just a really great thing to have. Now for the secondary guys, um, because it's kind of going to be a stealthy class setup, I'm going to be using the butterfly knife. Um, I don't use it too often with class setups, but today it just works out really well. Um, usually if I'm coming up behind somebody, usually what I'll do is I'll probably like flank um, for the most part. I, I won't really come at people from the front like angle unless like my teammates are there. Usually I like to go around the back, get them from the back. Um, then that's when you can kind of use your butterfly knife if you'd like to uh, to get a couple kills and um, just conserve some of your ammo. And then for the throwable guys, I'm going to be using the M18 smoke grenades. Um, these are really, really good for just, you know, as a decoy or distraction. Um, usually if I'm going to flank, my strategy is to throw it where my teammates are, um, you know, so that way the entire M18 team is kind of fixated on where my teammate is and where the smoke grenade is. And then that's when you can kind of run around the back, throw another smoke grenade um, to engulf their entire spawn or wherever they are. Um, in smoke and then this is where you could either take out the butterfly knife or you can use the M4A1 and you can take out so many kills guys and then you can reload they're not even looking at you um, the only downside is is you have to Pro like I, I would say you'd have to take out all the enemies in that location within 20 seconds because of course they're going to spawn in and they're going to come right at you so you have to be careful for that um, usually if there's four or five people you can easily take them out um, that's when you can regroup with your team and it's just a really easy five kills um, just it's just like a really fun class setup now for the kill streaks guys I'm going to be running the UAV the advanced UAV and the nuke today um, I, I didn't really want to put super soldier with this because um, it's one of those stealthy class setups where I'm just kind of sneaking around I want to know where people are so basically the first UAV is going to really help me to figure out where their team is and then once you get the advanced UAV um, you can use that again when you're gonna flank um, I would recommend using it when you do do the flank you can kind of, you can do whatever you want with the UAVs but the main method that I like to do is use it and then go for the flank that way I know where everybody is and I'm not going in blind and all that good, and all that good stuff now for the perks guys today we're gonna be running um, firstly swift hands just because as you guys know the butterfly knife has a really cool animation when you take it out so it does take a little bit longer than it should so I just put swift hands just so I get it out quicker you know whenever you need to use it um, the next thing I like to use a super strife guys of course because when you're aiming down sights you want to move back and forth like a little bit easier um, without using it like I always say you're kind of just standing still I mean, you're still kind of moving, but it doesn't feel um, as natural. I think that Super Strife really helps you out. It just keeps it um, like a fluid movement. And um, next, we're going to be using Rapid Draw, guys. Um, rapid Draw will just allow you to aim down your sights faster. And sometimes, I think it's not worth using, but because we have one slot, um, other than using Trigger Finger, I'd rather use this. And it does help me out quite a bit. I actually kind of like it. Um, sometimes I die because I'm like, oh, like let's say I was sniping and I wasn't using Rapid Draw. Um, sometimes I get killed and I'm like, Oh, I didn't have enough time to scope in, but if you use Rapid Draw, it does help you scope in quicker, and I, I definitely think it works well with the M4A1. Now, the next perk, which I think is really, really key to using, is Sneak, guys. Um, basically, this will make your footsteps silent, so that way, when you're coming up behind the team, um, even if you guys think about it, like, okay, you're probably, like, um, people don't usually listen to footsteps, but now that I've been using this perk, I've kind of been thinking, like, you know, it is really easy to hear um, when you're walking around, especially if there's only one to two people. Someone could turn around and kill you before you even have the opportunity to take out, like, eight free kills. Um, so definitely being able to move around silently is really nice, and plus you have the suppressor and the butterfly knife. There's no way you're going to show up on the minimap unless somebody has UAV, and um, sneak just helps you to stay even more stealthy. And then finally, guys, extended is really nice to have. It increases your magazine size, and I just feel like having a couple extra bullets with the M4A1 definitely helps out. Um, it makes it feel a little bit better. Sometimes you run out of ammo and you're like, I could have taken out that kill. 
but using this will definitely um, help you out so you can get a couple more kills and overall just do a really great job with this class setup. But overall, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, definitely drop a like, guys. Comment down below any questions you have for me. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.